Mr. Parag Shah uh, uh, will present Tele ROP screening. From because we so my name is Aksha. I'm a retina consultant uh, working at Arvindai Hospital, Coimbatore, and I have a special interest in pediatric retinal disorders like retinopathy of prematurity and retinoblastoma. So I thank the chairpersons to, for pushing my talk first because I have another session to attend. So I'll be talking on the outcome of telescreening for ROP in rural uh, South India, the Arvind uh, experience. So we know all uh, the magnitude of ROP and according to this diagram given by the WHO born too soon, India has the highest number of preterm deliveries in the entire world. Neonatal care yeah, units, which were usually restricted to the urban areas, but from 2005, the government of India uh, under the National Health Mission planned to open NICUs, what they call as SNCU, special newborn care units in every district hospital. And currently more than 600 government SNCUs are operational in the country. Apart from the government SNCUs, we know that every dis major district headquarters city has around five to 15 private NICUs, and uh, that is the, the number of NICUs which are present. And because of this improvement in neonatal care, many preterm baby uh, are surviving even in these rural areas. So this has led to the increase in the incidence of ROP even in the rural area. The, the ground reality is that the awareness of ROP is low, especially amongst the pediatricians. Although trained ROP screening experts are available in urban cities, they are non-existent in rural areas. And thus there is a large lack of providing ROP screening services in these areas. So that is where our ROPE SOS project came, which is a telescreening pro project for retinopathy of prematurity. So the ROPE SOS, which is retinopathy of prematurity eradication saver site, was uh, funded by Mr. Subrato Bhagchi and uh, a grant from the USAID. So the aim of the project was to screen 2,000 babies per year by doing ROP screening in underserved and rural areas where there was uh, no ROP screening being done currently. And the team consists of two managers, two trained technicians, one uh, mid-level ophthalmic assistant, and one driver. So no physicians or no doctors, only the technicians. And the target was to cover the NICU situated in nine districts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So the infrastructure needed was first the uh, image capturing device, so that was the RedCam shuttle. And uh, you can see this, this is a RedCam 3, this is a desktop based, which is in the clinic. RedCam shuttle is a laptop based and it's a little, it, it's more mobile friendly, so it can be moved from one place to the other. And so we had to do the training of the technicians, so it was in two phases. The phase one was in the RedCam imaging practice kit, which is a sort of a mannequin head, which is provided by the manufacturer, and uh, they can take the images on this. And uh, once they are uh, good at it, then the phase two is the imaging of the actual babies in the OPD under the care of the ROP expert. And once they are trained, then they are set out, and this is a special van which he had procured to carry the team along with the camera. And this had, we had modified it to sort of like a ramp and a, a sort of a vault that could be, you know, secure enough for the red cam to be carried from village to village. So it was a customized thing for, uh, to carry the red cam machine. And uh, of course, for the treatment part, we had a diode laser also under this funding and the diode laser machine we, we could carry also in the van. And the van has even the facility to do, even the laser, there was a small bed inside the van where we can actually do lasers and has a power facility with inverter. So next comes the image transmission. How do we transmit the images from the rural to the base hospital? So what we had, the Arvindai Hospital already has an existing strong Arvind diabetic retinopathy uh, software, the address software. So we modified it a little bit for ROP. And the connector with the 3G and the 4G connection are available that we utilize for transmitting the images. And the central service of this modified address software was installed at Coimbatore Arvind. So this is how the address software, the front page looks. So this is the Arvind diabetic retinopathy screening software. But you can see we have modified for ROP where you can see the maternal risk factors, the neonatal risk factors. And once the images are uploaded, this is how the expert will see in the uh, base hospital. So we first targeted uh, a radius of 200 kilometers from Coimbatore. So this is the area uh, in the Tamil Nadu side, and that's the area in the Kerala side. 
And uh, later on, we, we did again add three more districts of Dharmapuri, Krishnagiri, and Hosur, which go outside the 200 kilometer diameter. And currently, we are covering 53 NICUs per week in all these uh, district hospitals. So we are catering a co population of around uh, 50 million, a geographic area covering around uh, 47,000 square kilometers, and we are covering 12 districts actively right now. So the, the project started from August 2015 and to, to June 2017. We had screened 7,299 babies, out of which around 4,000 were new and 3,000 were review cases. Any stage of ROP was seen in 1,431. And out of these, 111 were identified as a severe form of ROP in the vision threatening and were treated successfully. So apart from uh, subjecting the only for the fundus imaging, we then modified later on, let, let's put include anterior segmenting imaging also. So that will be a universal eye care for the newborn. And with that, we could uh, detect, of course, retinal hemorrhages is in the posterior segment, which were not related to ROP, which were also picked up. But we had, could pick up 10 cases of congenital cataracts, which were successfully treated, one case of strabismus, and uh, even one case of uh, retinoblastoma. Now coming to uh, awareness amongst the, amongst the uh, mothers and the uh, attenders, so we made these customized posters which are multicolored informational, half in English and half in the regional language, Tamil and in Malayalam, and they were displayed in this NICUs uh, in all these district hospitals, all the hospitals we were covering. Apart from that, we made these handouts, the brochures, which we were giving it to all the cases which had active ROP, telling them the need to, the necessity to come back for a follow-up and the importance of coming back. And this also we had in English and in both the regional languages. So another part of the program was to create CME programs, create the awareness amongst the NICU staffs. So every six weeks we created ROP awareness and we, we stressed on the importance of initiation of screening and we also stressed the importance of prevention of the disease, where a good neonatal practice, where a controlled oxygen can actually bring down the rates of ROP and that is also was stressed. And we had 11 uh, CME programs out of which 711 NICU staffs were sensitized on ROP. So the impact was that more parents would demand uh, eye evaluation for the newborn, especially preterm. More health providers will refer premature babies on time, and more ophthalmologists will get trained in ROP screening and management due to the increased referrals and demand. So like I said, initially we started at 200 kilometers uh, in Coimbatore and Kerala, but then the things got popular, and another NIC is also started, we also want to join. So then we added a place called Malappuram in, uh, in, in Kerala, and then we went to Dharmapuri, Krishnagiri, and Hosur, uh, the government hospitals, and we even go to Dindigul. So now it was three, 200 kilometers, now we are giving a radius of around uh, 300 kilometers in the Tamil Nadu side. And from August, uh, we could procure one more red cam and one more team, and with the lessons learned, we went for a smaller van, and which could carry the red cam easily, and this is the one with the shock absorbers below this, so that uh, it does not damage. So without the volt, with the shock absorbers, it has the same impact of, uh, but at a lo lower cost. So in summary, early identification via telescreening prevents needless blindness for ROP, avoids visit of ophthalmologists unless indicated, increases awareness amongst all neonatal staff, and with the lack of specialized ophthalmologists, telescreening could be the only option in providing ROP screening services in the rural area. So next I'm gonna show the videos of the screening project. Yeah. So you can see the red cam being taken by these trained technicians, the MLOPs and the managers. And they can be easily rolled over on this ramp. And it's a fixed day for every city. And this was uh, in Tirupur, which every Monday in the Tirupur General Hospital, uh, GH, NIS SNCU, the van team goes. And now the patient details are entered in the red cam by the technician. The topical anesthetic drops are put. After putting the speculum and the gonio gel, the red cam images are taken. And then they are, they are saved and they are uploaded to a different laptop which has the address software. And from there it is uploaded to the server. And this is in the base hospital where the images can be seen. And even if the grader is not in the base hospital, even with a simple smartphone, uh, Android, we also we can see the images and we can report them. So the reporting is done uh, immediately. And uh, when she press send report, it goes back to the base hospital where the team is with the printer and this is how the printout comes. 
and immediately the patient is counseled. So it's a, a live reporting which is going on and the turnaround time is around 10 to 12 minutes for each baby. So that saves the time of the patient coming to the hospital and then uh, it's done. And this is with the phone report. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a few queries. Uh, what is the frequency of visit to each center? Uh, then where are the children followed up? You said, no, we call the children for follow up. Yes. So and thirdly, how are they taken for treatment? Any of those who require treatment, right. how are they taken up for treatment? So your first question, madam, it's, it, it's gone. Every Monday, the team has to go to the same NICU and uh, do the screening. Uh, regarding uh, the, your, your third part, follow-up, yeah. So follow-up, uh, most of them will have lesser stage of ROP or just immature vessels. They don't require a follow-up by your ophthalmologist. So we tell them to come back a week or two weeks or three weeks, record, according to the severity, to the same place where the van comes in the next week and we do that. And the third part regarding the, the treatment, if the child is stable enough to travel to the hospital, then the parents will get the uh, child to the hospital and we do the laser or uh, whatever treatment is required at the hospital. However, if they are sick and they cannot be transported, the pediatrician says we cannot send the child, then the doctor goes out within 72 hours there with the laser and does the laser on site there. 